Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Lamina's MVC on your local environment. So, in order to actually set it up on your environment, we just need two things. An XAMPP running and Composer available under your shell scripts. So, we already know how to set up XAMPP because we already mentioned it in the previous video. Let's focus on Composer. So, what is Composer really? Um, like we can, we can say, it's a dependency manager for any PHP application. So, if your application requires any other dependencies in your project, uh, like Symfony or Zend packages, then you will use Composer to actually get them on the latest or uh, beta versions. So, how to actually install it on your uh, Windows machine? That's quite easy. Uh, we go to the getcomposer.org slash download, which will be link available in the description. We copy the whole section of this command line installation. Um, yeah, let's copy it. We are going back to the exam control panel and we press this lovely button called shell right on the right hand side. Right? We click on the right button of the mouse to actually paste the contents. We'll give it some time to actually process and we press and enter to confirm the last command. Job done. Composer is installed. Right, so whenever we want to call a composer, we just type in composer. To verify which version we have, we just provide dash dash version so, obviously, for our case, it's 1.9.3. Um, in your case, it might be more, more recent. Um, once we have a composer ready, we will need to actually grab a Laminas MVC skeleton and create a new project. So, how are we going to do it? Uh, it's quite simple. We're going to reuse composer to actually include project from the GitHub. So our Laminas MVC skeleton is available under the Laminas package on a GitHub. This is what exactly we'll be trying to fetch from a composer point of view in our shell command. So we can actually use the line over here to install it ourselves. So let's open the shell. Let's first not forget to actually navigate to the public folder called htdocs, so cd htdocs, press enter, and now we can paste the command. Right, I want to change the folder name to anything we want. In our case, it might be laminas underscore mvc. So, we're going to use a create project for fetching the Laminas MVC skeleton from the GitHub into our new Laminas MVC folder. Uh, we're providing S and Dev options uh, to actually say S, we only want to have a stable uh, modules available in our, in our package, and Dev, we want to include a required Dev dependencies. This actually includes some of the debugging, logging, and a few others, uh, developer console uh, tools. So we want those to be included in this package. So let's press enter. And the first question, which will be asked by the installer, is do you want to have a minimum install? In our case, the more package we have, the better. So we type in no, because we want more packages. And now the installer would actually ask which particular package we want to have included. For most of the questions, we'll just press Y, so yes. Um, we'll do the same for caching support, database support, forms, JSON, logging, um, console, 
or MVC uh, internalization, um, MVC plugins for other greatness, uh, PSR7, middleware dispatcher, yes. And we want to have also a session plus testing and dependency injection as well with service manager. Um, so we just downloaded all the additional modules. We are now going to actually set it up. So we have three different types to actually select. Um, installer is actually asking us, do we want to configure it ourselves or do we want installer to actually configure it for us? Um, we don't know much about Laminus MVC, so we're going to use a default uh, first, uh, well, not first, but the number one option, which is a config modules.config.php. So let's use that. And we want to remember the same option for all the other packages. So press yes. Um, yep. Once the packages would be installed and downloaded, we should be able to actually, yep, we want to do the same thing for additional uh, developers tools package, which will be helping us for debugging or logging out all the variables. And we provide yes again. Um, so more packages are going to be downloaded as well. A lot of packages that that could be way faster if we just choose the minimum install but for the purpose of this learning video we want everything right um do we want to remove existing subversion files so version controls files we press yes because we don't want to actually put or uh, push any new changes to the skeleton app on the GitHub, so we just press Y and press here, enter. Right, we are now, like you can see, in development mode. So what is development mode? It's actually a mode for detecting in which environment we are in. So we can provide different configuration sets for either development mode on or development of off. Um, that way we can actually quickly check whatever something isn't working on production or on the local environment and then simulate the production uh, stuff on our end. So we've installed it into the Laminus MVC folder. Let's bring it up. We are under the C exam docs and we have a new folder called Laminus MVC like you can expect. Inside here we have a bunch of new files which uh, are actually brought in from the Laminas MVC uh, on a GitHub. So we have a direct copy of those. In order to actually open Laminas MVC, we're going to use the folder name and we're going to type in localhost Laminas underscore MVC. Right? And this is a first, uh, this is a first magic trick. So by default, Laminas MVC is not actually going to be run from the root folder. Uh, mostly from the uh, security point of view, uh, but also because if we're going to have a dedicated server, we are never allowing user to access the root folder at all. So we want to have a specific subfolder which actually deals with dispatching the requests. So the same happens over here. We have a folder called public, in which public folder we're going to have a first index.php files, which, which is in fact a front controller, so it deals with every request of the application. So if you're go, going to click on public, right, because we've selected all the packages from the laminas, we're actually seeing an exception of unable to load a int extension in PHP. This is why, because we have XAMPP running limited extensions. So we just need to enable it very quickly. 
let's open a uh, exam controller panel. Over here we have a config next to the Apache line. We just press on it and we select php.ini. This actually files contains all the extensions available and uh, enabled by default. So let's search for int. Let's navigate to this, to this line, extension equals int. And let's delete a comment of semicolon. Let's save the file. Let's close it. And now the only thing left is to do a restart of Apache. So we click stop, wait for a while, and we'll click start again. By doing that, our Laminas MVC skeleton by refreshing should just load up. So there you go. Welcome to Laminas MVC skeleton applications. Um, I'm going to put all the uh, links to the GitHub and Composer in the description so you wouldn't have to actually type it yourself but this is it this is how you set up a Laminas MVC skeleton and you can actually play around with uh, developer toolbar like we said and we can start our journey by creating our websites based on Laminas or we can use a tools to actually generate a code for us one of those tools are available under the Laminas Starter Kit .com. So this actually provides way to either download commands on your shell and then run it locally or use the online tools. So the more about that will be available in our next video. So thank you for listening.